Baya kalo koko PNC Baya kalo koko PNC Sebe funu gusi buna Kimi sebe nzi Sebe funu gusi buna Sebe funu gusi buna Kimi sebe nzi Sebe funu gusi buna Sebe funu gusi buna Kimi sebe nzi Sebe funu gusi buna Sebe funu gusi buna Kimi sebe nzi Sebe funu gusi buna Sebe funu gusi buna Kimi sebe nzi Sebe funu gusi buna Sebe funu gusi buna Kimi sebe nzi Sebe funu gusi buna Sebe funu gusi buna Give me seven Z, seven for no Sibona. Pulin de la Sello Malima, 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 Pulin Fulin de la ha, sello malima. Fulin de la ha, sello malima. Fulin de la ha, sello malima. Se si funu gui kulula. Le e yen si, se si funu gui kulula. Se si funu gui kulula. Le e yen si, se si funu gui kulula. Baya kala kope ayansi Baya kala kope ayansi Sebe funu gusi bona Kimi sebe nzi sebe funu gusi bona Mimi na hitu wa good man manyanya piri ni Mwenyeji wa Afrika kusini ni mezaliwa nchi hii Lakini kutokana na ukabila Lakini ukabila siyo wa wana nchi ni ukabila wa viongozi vietu Katika chama tawala cha African National Congress ambacho kesho kama leo ni, eh, ni mkesha leo siku wa eh, siku kuu ya kuanzilisha mwaka eh, 2012 ni mwaka ambapo chama hiki cha African National Congress kinamaliza miaka hamsini lakini chama chenyewe mwanzilishi wa, wake mwanzilishi wake ni eh, Dr. Pixley Gaisaka Seme eh, ndi wakubwa hao pamoja na Uh, ufalme wa waswaza bao ni ndugu wa upande wangu lakini tangu nilipoanzisha kupigania uhuru nikiwa na miaka 15 mwaka 1976 paka hapo nilipofika nchini Tanzania uh, kusaidia vyama vya ANC na PAC kupata uhuru yani tulikuwa tuna, tunafunzwa na, 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 na wananchi wa Tanzania kusudi tuweze kupigana tuwe wanajeshi kamili hapo ndi ukaanza ukabila wa Wangoni. Wangoni sasa kuogelea Wangoni ni Wazulu na Wakosa na makabila mengine lakini hasa Wakosa hawa ambao anatokea bwana Nelson Mandela na huyu ambaye sasa hivi anaitawala nchi kwa jina la Jacob Zuma. Sasa ninapofanya video hivi ninaongea naye bwana Jacob Zuma kwa sababu mpaka um, hivi tume ya upatanisho Afrika Kusini ni tume ya Wangoni peke yao ndio wanafaidi. Sisi wengine ambao tuludhurika sana wakati wa mapambano mpaka leo hatupati suluhisho kama ninavyoongea hapa mimi mke wangu pamoja na kwamba tume yenyewe hiyo ya askofu tutu imesema mke wangu ameonewa ni, eh, ni, ni uonevu wa haki za binadamu pamoja na mimi na watoto wetu wa wawili sasa Iringa hadi leo rais Nelson Mandela alipuuza rais Thabo Mbeki alipuuza angalau hao walipuuza lakini rais huwa sasa hivi ambao ni Jacob Zuma badala ya kunisaidia 
akaenda kazini kwangu kuna kufanya kazi akaongeza mashtaka kama ninavyoongea hii tarehe 12 ya mwezi huu wa 12 eh, 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 2011 eh, amewatuma tena maafisa wake wakanipa mashtaka mawili moja eh, 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 bado nasema hana hana, hana mashahidi anatafuta eh, 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 kesi yenyewe itakuwa kesi gani au shtaka gani ya pili anasema kwa nini nimelalamika kwake kwa njia ya kuandika blog yangu hiyo sasa ndio hivyo tena sasa nimeongea Kiswahili eh, kwa sababu ni lugha ya Afrika eh, hata lugha zingine unaweza ukatumia hizi ili mradi sio lugha ya mtu ambaye anaitawala nchi huonekana unaongea una I've been saying here this video is uh, an address to Mr. Jacob Zuma I'm trying to avoid official dom now I'm not addressing you sir as my head of state I've done that in the past there are several videos in fact the leading video on YouTube is 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 is, is, is an address to you on your official capacity as the head of state and um I got charged for that for complaining to you a complaint having to do with blowing off the whistle again one of your mister I want to say mister again one of your fellow ngunis Ntombizodo Bobe Lozini who works at a place I can't mention because there's an order of a judge that I may not mention in that place but you know the story very well by now and so you charged me Mr Zuma or you ordered people to charge me they told me as much it's your order uh, that I must be charged for bringing blowing the whistle I have taken this, Mr. Zuma, as a sign of tribalism. Not tribalism of old Nguni people, who are my uncles. My mother is Nguni herself. But tribalism, particularly for yourself as an individual. But for a long time, you were my comrade. I used to use, use the word comrade for you, but I don't think that word fits anymore. Because now, you, have, you are coming out to destroy me. I'm standing here with two fresh charges from yourself. Now pay your orders. That's what I was told in the department where I work, which I won't mention. Uh, because of you so where am I going to run to of course I'm going to prison that's what you want that's what you want because even as of 1994 your fellow Nguni Benson Mandindi and another fellow there um, they, 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 they caused my wife to remain in, in, in exile I've got a wife who is my first wife who is Tanzanian and our two kids are there I went through the TRC Mr. Mandela ignored that the findings of the TRC as, a, as, a, as me and my family being victims of human rights abuses. I went to Mr. Mbeki, he ignored me. I went to you, you wrote back and you said you are attending to my grievances, including the grievance of blowing the whistle at the workplace, which uh, in government areas that you have caused has become now a milking cow for relatives of, uh, you know, of, 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 of people who have been, you know, given the responsibility to lead the country. So I'm pleading with you, Mr. Zuma, stop what you're doing or continue to victimize me. I'm going to go to jail. It is also all right. I'll go to jail. I'm going to get killed because you might order people to kill me. Like you sent people also. Your own authority sent people in March, armed soldiers to my house and armed. And if they found me at home, I believe they would kill me because I'm not a fugitive. Why were they coming armed? They wanted to kill me. They claimed that they wanted to computer. They took my computers, private computers. They haven't brought them back till today and DVDs because I dare to talk against the xenophobia that is going on under your leadership, Mr. Zuma. And um, th that's about all I wanted to, to put across. The rest is in writing and the rest is in song. Bayakalo kuku be ANC Bayakalo kuku be ANC Sebe funugu sibuna Kimi sebe nzi sebe funugu sibuna Sebe funugu sibuna Kimi sebe nzi sebe funugu sibuna Fuli nlilaha Sello malima vuli lila Sello malima se si funugu kulula Le e yen si se si funugu kulula Se si funugu kulula Le e yen si se si funugu kulula Se si funugu kulula Say, 
ANC se si funu kulula se si funu kulula le ANC se si funu kulula se si funu kulula le ANC se si funu kulula se si funu kulula the ANC says if we know we could do that. Says if we know we could do that. The ANC says if we know we could do that. Says if we know we could do that. The ANC says if we know we could That was a showing of the kind of place I'm living in right now with my family. My youngest child from my second wife, that is, is only 12 months old. She's always ill, falling ill from the conditions I'm living in, caused by victimization charges by Mr. Zuma's Nguni tribalism.